good morning. Well, not such a good morning. I had a bad night's sleep. This this is an area that is Islamic. At some point this night, it was some kind of prayer music. I don't know what it was. I get out of the bed. I looked how late it was. It was 2.30 at night. They were singing out on a speaker or something. Uh, like after five minutes, it was finished. But then two times, uh, but I think it was like four o'clock. Like you hear on, on a mosque calling them to pray two times. <sighs> Terrible night. But then again, look at the view that I have this morning. Wait. Look. And there is a tree with all birds inside. We are actually at a lake just behind Aragon Bay. This is uh, not Aragon Bay here, this is the area because we had a place to sleep at the beach but the people uh, sent an email uh, that they stopped in October. Uh, the activities they stopped, uh, they, they didn't want to rent it anymore so they stopped. So we had to search for a new place and I found this place but look how beautiful it is. It's really an amazing, beautiful, boutique hotel it's all little cabins i think there are just five all downstairs to one two three not more than 10 rooms i guess but they tell us it's really difficult to rent them because the road through here is really really bad and the government won't do anything about it you can really drive like five kilometers per hour uh, they are struggle to get here so it's really difficult to rent it so it's really bad. I, I don't know if it has a good future if the road is not going to be fixed. But it's a beautiful place. And there are all buffaloes in the water. Look. Yesterday evening we were so tired after the safari. We wanted to eat something and I looked at TripAdvisor and I always say if I look at TripAdvisor, we never get disappointed. Well, yesterday evening, it was the first time. Uh, but we were so tired and so disappointed, I didn't vlog anymore. The place that we went, uh, Friends Food Cafe, they didn't know where it was, the tuk-tuks, the drivers. Uh, and then we went in inside and there was like five people sitting there and there was no tables left with these five people. So yes, a table for two. And I went outside, I was, I say, is this friend's food cafe? Yes. Uh, can we eat with five persons? And he was like, ooh, no, try again tomorrow. I was like, uh, okay. But then everybody was so hungry, so hungry. Uh, we went just across the street to Burger Hut. It was not that great. We're going to try it this afternoon to visit Aragon Bay. There should be little shops, handmade jewelry, uh, art, uh, little shops, good restaurants. It should be on the other side. So we're going to try it with sun so it's not dark. First we're going to do is eat some breakfast and have a better start of the day than the night was. Hello, what a nice view. I have a problem. Everybody has a straw that is bended. This is metal. I was really confused, I have a straight one. So I was thinking, can you bend that? But I was like, nope, cannot bend it. I have a straight one. It's not fair. It's not fair. So this is a toast with eggs and sausages. But you have to be careful because these are very, very spicy. We have the fruit and then we have a lot of toasts. Wow. 
this is actually a good drink. They don't like it. They don't like it. You don't like it? No, no, but I, I like it. And then of course we're going to drink some tea because why are we going to drink some tea? To be healthy. Yes, but why? It is tea time. Because we visited the tea factory and we know there is antioxidant in the tea. So we live longer. So you're longer no. have problems with us. Yay. Are you with us? Oh, I didn't see it that <laughs> way. <laughs> bon appetit. Eh? Bon appetit. Eh? <laughs> So we have arrived at uh, Muhudu Maha Viharaya. It's translated at Temple at the Sea. The legend says that the Buddha was visiting this place on his third journey to Sri Lanka. He was meditating while he was arriving here and that's why the temple is here. So you will see ancient statues and then uh, some buildings. We see a stupa there. This is really a very old place for pilgrims and tourists. Everybody needs to cover their knees and shoulders to enter this, uh, this place. So these are again donations, a nickel or penny or, or small coins that they strap to some fabric and they donate that to the temple again. Here you don't have to pay entrance. It's only working with uh, donations. So you donate, you get a ticket that you donate. This is maintained with donations uh, and volunteers. So this is very important to know. They don't do this for money. It's just they collecting money to restore and to maintain this building. And this is what I really like about the Buddhism. It's never about the money. It's always collecting to maintain. You'd never see a Buddhist temple that is full with gold or with very expensive things. No, no, no. They all share. And that's what I like about Buddhism. sand is very hot without my shoes but you have to take them out and you see I'm walking backwards because you cannot turn your back to Buddha well, this is a ruin but still it's a temple it's a sacred place so but ah, 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 it's hot So Mother Teresa, Gandhi, Margaret Thatcher visited this place a long time ago, of course. So there are all little monks here, so cute to see. We didn't want to approach them, but we heard them say, come, 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 very, very quiet. 
And then, what's your name, they said. And uh, they want to ask where we are, where we're from. And uh, it's really, really lovely to see. I think it's, a, it's something uh, that the parents are proud of, that they become monks. They help maintain this place, clean this place. Uh, and they yeah, are learned the way of Buddha. But all these statues here, along the way, to the stupa is really lovely, really special on the beach. Never seen that before. It is incredibly hot here. This is, water is falling from my head, my back, everywhere. This is really, really, really hot here. So they dropped us at Arugam Bay. You cannot expect it's the same like Ella. I have a feeling here that they have problems surviving here. They all wait, wait for a client. Or it's off season. They say this is a place where you can surf. And the surfing period is from uh, May, I guess. May to, until September. So a lot of surfers here then. So maybe it's just not the season yet that's possible they have shops here they have shops and they have uh, restaurants and uh, bars next week there's the end of ramadan oh that's why it's so quiet it's ramadan day they, they ah, don't do anything yes. in the day so you don't see anybody so that's why okay now i understand so we're searching for a, a place to drink something so we drink like crazy <laughs> we drink like crazy but this is a nice place look the ocean iced tea and you have mango mango you have local orange local orange that's local yellow local yeah that's orange here is some kind of green we're going to walk a little bit along the coast here this is a really 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 nice bay look at all these fishermen boats you can surf here too but uh, now the waves are not big enough so it's from may to september nicer waves i think you can also learn how to surf here it's a really nice place here really nice bay yeah. <laughs> so we are sitting here in a cabana on the beach this is the only place that is doable for the heat because you have a little wind here is it true guys yes. it's good sitting here we're going to order some some food and maybe later some ice cream i don't know but i don't think we're going to leave this place very soon this is really chilling and this is something we never do we always visiting 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 it's time to chill now it's really time to chill this is really heaven on earth but a little bit too hot this heaven <laughs> But it's really cool it's the wind and yeah it's cool here so i have french fries this is whole seafood and then burger another burger french fries what do you have ice cream with fruits. oh is it good yeah oh the wind is so nice and the shades here okay so I ordered two bowls, but I got two portions <laughs> two bowls, with two bowls. two bowls. Two bowls, yes, I have two bowls. The language barrier is, uh, is this time big, but I will eat it. I will eat it. I just have to be fast because it's melting. So the place that we were chilling and eating and it was very good is Tom and Jerry. You can sit at the beach, you can sit in a, bagam, a cabana. In a cabana. The food, the burgers were good? Yes, yes. definitely. Yes. Seafood was good? Yes. 
and the desserts were really good and they're really friendly you can chill there it's an amazing and they don't charge a price for using the cabanas you just take place there there are just four or five cabanas this is something we recommend if you are in Arak Arugambe so now we're going back to the hotel and maybe some will swim yes. and uh, and we'll see sunset from our hotel <laughs> Go Arco. Hello, sir. I can uh, buy something. Uh, uh, Fanta. Fanta. Orange. Okay, this is good. Okay, okay. And cookie. Cookie. Oh. How much? 350. 350? It's okay. It's okay. Stuti, stuti. 